Jason Lee with NextLevelGuitar.com. Uh, another guitar that I brought today is my 1998 Dan Electra Hodad guitar. Uh, definitely a, a really light guitar, uh, easy to play. Uh, the body itself is actually made of masonite, so it, it has a weird kind of thin, kind of cheap feel to it, but back then they were using real cheap materials, so I think it's really cool that when they reissued them in the late 90s, uh, that they're still using a lot of the materials that they used uh, back in the 50s. Um, one thing I really think is cool is the actual blue sparkle of this guitar. It's definitely a, a cool model that, that I like to kind of show off. Um, but other than that, the finish, other than the finish, I, I think the guitar sounds amazing too. Um, the neatest thing with this is actually the dual lipstick pickups. Uh, lipstick pickups are definitely an old school sound, um, but this actually has a conjunction of two humbuckers put together. So if you actually think about it, they're not really a humbucker, they're just wired that way. So the cool thing is it's almost like having four complete different lipstick uh, pickups. You can obviously tell how they got their name. They look like an old lipstick tube that you'd pull out. But um, I'm going to go through the, uh, the controls right now for you. Uh, this is obviously just a standard three-way selector. So we've got our neck position right here. Here's our middle. This is both lipsticks together. And we've got our bridge. Real kind of thin and hollow sounding. But um, the controls are real simple. Uh, this particular model that I've got, um, I got from a collector that is literally mint. It, it's never even been played live yet. It was off the shelf in the case, so I still even have the the stickers on the on the control knob. So pretty standard setup. This is going to be our uh, control volume for the the neck, um, and this is the control volume for the bridge. Um, right here is pretty cool. These are standard tone knobs, but these actually have uh, what's called push pull pots. So something that's really cool with this is you actually just pull it up and it does the function right there. So for this one, this actually has the, uh, says the sticker pull for coil tap. And what a coil tap does is actually just uh, ends up splitting these to, to either the two center or the two outside. So it's pretty neat. It gives it more of like a single coil tone. And then another, another neat feature that this one has is the push pull for the out of phase. So this actually pulls the pickups out of the phase of the whole circuit. Gives it kind of a different, more of a hollow sound. So something really cool with this instrument. But um, yeah, definitely a cool guitar. Uh, it's got a standard bolt-on neck, uh, like most guitars of this style do. Uh, this particular model uh, comes with Goto tuners, which I like a lot. They're more of a standard tuner compared to a, uh, a locking tuner uh, or any Gibson type tuner. But the Godos are a little bit, a little bit better quality, uh, higher ratio in the tuning, so you don't really get too many drifts when you're tuning uh, up and down. But um, yeah, great instrument. I think if you can, you know, find a Dan Electro online, uh, definitely. Uh, I've done a little research. eBay, uh, you could probably pick one of these up for around four hundred. Uh, we've seen them go for, uh, and I think definitely for the price, if you were looking at something different that you want, that's going to be very cost effective, but you know, with a different tone, definitely try and pick one up. And super cool with the blue sparkle. Super cool with the blue sparkle. Uh, two thumbs up. Two thumbs up on this model. So I'm going to go through a few different tones right now for you so you can actually hear the differences with all the functions of this guitar. It's definitely a, a multitasker's instrument. So uh, we're going to go through it right now and play a few little surf type riffs. I think this is a fun surf guitar. Uh, definitely more of a 60s type tone I think. So we're going to go for a few riffs right now and uh, as I'm playing I'm just going to kind of change this through. So in order, um, I'm going to go from the neck position, then to the middle, then to the bridge. I'll stop, maybe, maybe twist a few knobs and we'll see how it sounds, alright? Let's try that right now. So a little tremolo pick and surf for it for you. Go to the middle. Go to the bridge. Okay, now I'm actually going to split the pickup so you can hear the difference. This is going to actually bring us to single coils, which was the original kind of surf tone. the chance to actually show you my favorite tone on my Dan Electro. Uh, we're going to go in the middle position, we're going to leave all everything cranked open so the tone's going to be open but we're going to split the pickups to single. Definitely going to give us that quintessential classic surf sound but with a different guitar. So we're going to try that right now. So 
for today's uh, instrument, I was actually using a real simple setup. Uh, Fender Pro Junior Amp, real simple amp, uh, tube, and it's going to run a volume and a tone knob. Real easy to use, and for my actual reverb tone, we're going with something more on a budget today. Uh, Boss Digital Delays, you can hear that right now. So once again, this has been Jason Lee with NextLevelGuitar.com. Please stick around, stay tuned for our YouTube previews, uh, and more tech and info and vintage gear updates. Mm-hmm.